And we are back, everyone. Uh, welcome to IGTV. We're with the uh, RSA, the Security Division of EMC, and their Fraud Action Research Labs over in Israel. Uh, on the phone with us today is one of the researchers, uh, Lamore Kessem. And Lamore is talking about the Citadel Trojan and actually the development of this specific Trojan uh, to a more professionalized uh, business model, if you would. Um, and of course, Lamore, I have to be honest with you, uh, I'm getting some rhetorical responses privately to me on the chat, and they're saying, hey, have these guys developed a user conference yet? It's, it's weird, I've developed what, a user well, it was kind of tongue-in-cheek, Lamoa. You know how RSA has its user conference? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have live chat. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they want to know if there's a Citadel user conference coming up. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, no, not yet. We, we, we don't think they all want to get together in one place in the world. They so far have customers... Um, a lot of English uh, speaking customers, so I guess, you know, not only Russian. Yeah, so it could turn out to be a fun event. All right, so um, what else What else do you have on this? I know you had some other things that you were going to talk yeah, about as well. Say, you know, uh, in terms of professionals looking at, at a Trojan, banking Trojan, you know, they could say, well, this is business as usual in the underground. I mean, what's so different about it? Okay, it's doing things really well. And uh, what, what I'm trying to portray here is just this is not, there has, not, there has not been a Trojan ever since Zeus that was developed with such a serious and dedicated uh, manner by a, such a serious team. And there is a mastermind behind all the aspects of the software development, and the support, and the sales that's really making this Trojan gain momentum very quickly. And already we're seeing now at the end of the Q1 2012 that Citadel accounted for 3% of the global attack uh, volume and it's only just begun. I mean, this is a new Trojan. It's already like climbing up, and I think we're going to see it taking over uh, what Zeus has been doing. Um, RSA researchers also see that um, people who own Zeus botnets before are moving their botnets to the Citadel infrastructure, meaning they have their Zeus begin to download a Citadel Trojan in order to transform the whole botnet. Um, mm -hmm. Beyond the Citadel Trojan being a top of the line banker, it's also made in a way that will allow the attackers to use it in APT-oriented attacks. So they they have features in it that will allow to map the network and to get the IP configuration of all the shared drives. Uh, they're you know putting on little uh, search words like accountant or POS or server database, etc., in order to capture these resources on a, on a company's network, for example. They're also saying they've adapted it to the survival conditions of today's security landscape. So that means they've added the avoidance mechanisms in order to uh, stay away from tracking, stay away from uh, reaching AVs and getting sampled. And they also put in an embedded scanning of all their variants. So the minute the person opens the, uh, the control panel of the Trojan, right away first it checks all the virus definitions if, if this variant is already being detected in order to say, okay, you need a new variant because this one's already no good. It's getting detected here and change it. So they're doing a lot of little things. They also invented some sort of a resource camouflage where they, they just take the URL of their infection or communication and it's like dressing a wolf in sheep's clothing. They put it, you know, as if it's a, a Google URL or a CNET URL, uh, things like that, in order to make it look legitimate and let it reach out to the update point of the Trojan without getting blocked or blacklisted anywhere. Uh, they also made sure this Trojan does not work on Russian language systems because they want to avoid local victims and they want to avoid the local police in Russia or in that area and their part of the world because they know that if they catch them there, they're probably going to be caught faster and have to do the time for their crimes. Um, they have embedded also a VNC a virtual network computing tool that they have uh, written. It's called VNC Fox. It's a special uh, tool that they've made only for the Trojan. It allows for remote control and takeover of the infected PC. Hmm. And we know that this is definitely a part of every APT attack, the taking over of the computer. Uh, so this seems to be a very uh, strong Trojan with strong adoption by the market. 
and uh, we're going to see and hear more about in the coming uh, cybercrime reports, whether it be about banking, you know, wire transfers, that kind of fraud, or even uh, more serious attacks. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it, it sounds like this is something that uh, they took very seriously into development um, yes. and have gone really out of their way to more professionalize it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what the revenues are on this as well. Um, unbelievable. unbelievable. It's really unbelievable what they've done here. Yeah, and, and you know, if, if they're capturing 3% of the market, that's, that is huge. That's just as soon as they began. I mean, this is nothing. Uh, no other Trojan has been able to do it this quickly. Not even Spy at its glorious time that didn't, uh, didn't catch on so quickly. Well, uh, Lamar Kessem uh, from RSA, we certainly do appreciate everything you told us today. And uh, well, this is out there for everybody to, uh, to, to listen to and, and to learn from and hopefully to protect themselves as well. All right, Lamar, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming on the program today. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye now. Bye. All right. Um, so uh, very, very interesting.